Okay, how many people are in each group? Four. 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 Fifth graders in my maker base classroom spent an entire semester on a single design challenge. Part of this challenge is working with new people. First, students formed their own teams. We're making a team based off skills. It doesn't matter. We're just experimenting to see how they, they manage a, a, a normally very teacher-led decision in who should be in whose teams and why. When you take all the responsibility from the adult and hand it to the child, you're instilling this sort of like message, I trust you. Huh. So what do you think of how they did picking their teams? And how do you predict this is gonna go? I have no idea. <laughs> That's the part that makes it fun. <laughs> They always surprise me by exceeding expectations. Team number eight, Nick, Hallie, Jaden, and Sebi. The assignment is to find a need on campus, something that can be improved or made better, um, and they are assigned a collaborator, an adult collaborator on campus. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Markers are dis his like whiteboard markers are disappearing. This is a way to get them to think outside of their own needs, but it's also very scaffolded for them because they'll have an actual adult. He's losing all of his markers, so we're making a dispensary so his students put them in when they're leaving. Their design constraints are actually based on the materials that are present. So we have all this waste on campus from buying new furniture, some old wooden pallets, lots of e-waste that develops over the years, stuff that parents donate. Like all groups, the one making the marker dispenser spent months brainstorming, designing. Last time it was too big and this time it's too small. Prototyping, iterating, and receiving peer and teacher feedback. Uh, the marker the right. goes in here through the tube and it put, builds up enough momentum so it comes in completely straight and falls. Finally, students deliver their projects to the people they made them for. There we go. It's exactly what we were talking about. So I'm, I'm really excited because it, it's talking about, it, it's dealing with exactly the issues we talked about. So it's good engineering, good design, and it's, so far, it seems like it really works well. The marker dispenser was just one makerspace success story. At year's end, fifth graders delivered a four-pong table for kindergartners. It's basically ping pong and four square combined. A multi-purpose rolling cart for the maintenance crew. And for the third grade guinea pigs, an innovative new habitat. This is monumental. It's fabulous, now they have an addition. So they have a couple of rooms to be in. Taking the time to do a full design cycle with fifth graders was a huge risk for me as a teacher. But it was also a big risk for the students who we don't typically trust with so much responsibility. Together, we all learned that we could turn ideas into tangible artifacts that make the school a better place. I would do it again in a heartbeat.